very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so this is just a gentle reminder that tomorrow Sunday 16th of August is the last day to join our extreme trader forex signals group and enjoy the one free extra week added to your membership so that's why we had to put a deadline here that anyone who will contact us after Sunday 12 a.m. midnight GMT time they will not get this offer so if they join if they contact us after this date they will just get a normal 30 days membership and if you contact us today and tomorrow Sunday you will get actually a 37 days membership uh, as, uh, so seven days is gonna be added to your membership and if anyone is wondering about our signals uh, and if they are really efficiency and profitable you can simply go to the free uh, to the free extreme trader forex signals group on telegram and you can find the link in the description below this video by the way you can check here the feedbacks and the reviews of the past three years from our clients these people who have actually joined and entertained the profits and pips from our uh, forex signals group and you can find their uh, opinion what they are thinking about our signals so uh, I'm very excited for this upcoming Monday and I think we will be back stronger than ever so I really uh, hope everyone will be very happy about that and I wish to see you all in the group this week so if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact Angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you there so let's right now move to the weekly analysis and we need to keep in our mind that the US dollar is still weak and the positive cases of the coronavirus in the United States is still increasing and right now uh, the latest number was confirmed 5 million cases in the United States. Uh, that's definitely not good to the dollar uh, the US dollar index currency the currency index sorry it has made an attempt to actually made a bullish uh, movement but eventually on Friday it has actually uh, be, been breaking out and right now the US dollar uh, uh, currency index is actually moving in a bearish momentum and it's gonna continue the fall and as I said I'm expecting since two weeks that the US dollar is gonna reach the price of 91 that being said let's start right now using the euro usd for the euro dollar uh, we can expect that right now the pair has actually made the reversal on the support on 1.18095 we can see that we had right here a previous resistance which has already become a previous support and by seeing these four weeks right here one two three four uh, we can tell that the pair has actually faced a strong support uh, zone right here most likely the pair is going to continue the bullish momentum for this week now therefore uh, we can actually start buying the euro usd euro usd is for the buy this week on the level 1.18226 and the safe zone is going to be ranging inside of that support zone that has been created and something telling me that there is no way that the price is actually gonna fall below the entry point uh, that actually might happen only if we there if there was some unexpected news or announcements or statements from the united states anything actually that might ch might change the game um we have to pay attention to the news of course my friends uh, yeah i have to say that actually these weekly analysis that i'm posting uh, all of them are very subjective to the news and the uh, world chaos or, or world uh, economic news or whatever happens in the world that actually might affect the currency uh, directly. So please pay attention to the news and keep your eyes on it because whatever I'm saying here might be changed only because of these news. So the safe zone is going to be ranging for almost 40 pips, which I think is totally fine and let me show you the take profit level i'm sure you're gonna like it let's go to the weekly candles now on the weekly candles i believe that because of the weakness of the us dollar the euro usd is going to continue the rise to actually reach that previous resistance right here therefore the take profit level this week is going to be given with 150 pips hopefully gonna be really very good profit for everyone so uh, that the take profit is gonna be given on 1.19782 and the safe zone is ranging for 40 pips only against 150 pips of profit I think this is a fantastic uh, risk to reward ratio 
So that's my analysis for the Euro USD, and hopefully it's gonna be worthy. Yeah, by the way, uh, I forgot to mention, of course, that my expectation for the Euro USD this week uh, that the pair is actually gonna fall a little bit more. Retesting that support level right here after the bullish breakout candle from that previous support and therefore we can expect from the pair to actually continue the rise until it hit that resistance level. Now if there was no news or anything happening that actually might give a boost to the Euro USD, we can expect a reversal on that resistance. And, and until it's actually going to retest the broken resistance on 1.1580 and then from that point the pair is actually going to continue the rise. Please keep that in your mind and consider it when you enter this signal. Let's move to the pound USD. Now for the pound USD we can notice that the pair has actually made a failed attempt to break out from the resistance on 1.31420 and the pair has eventually fallen down. Uh, I don't think this momentum is going to continue or the bearish momentum is going to continue. I believe the pound USD is going to continue the rise, uh, especially by seeing that the pair is actually reversing right now on a previous support zone. And right here we can notice that we had right here a previous support uh, trend line and this support trend line is keeping its position as a support trend line. Therefore, we can expect from the pound USD to actually continue the rise, as I said. So that is the support trend line as we can see like that and the pair is actually gonna be ranging inside this uh, zone here until it finally uh, continue the rise now that being said as well we can start buying the uh, pound usd U pound usd is for the buy on 1.30495 and the safe zone is gonna be ranging for almost 41 pips i think it's uh, we should increase the safe zone a little bit. I mean, it's just somehow not really safe to keep it only for 40 pips. Uh, 61 pips is also a lot. Let me just go to the one uh, to the daily candles, and that's better, like that. Yes, fantastic. So that that is actually uh, f 45 pips, which is totally perfect. So let me just draw for you the safe zone here like that and for the tech profit level the tech profit level is gonna be given exactly at that top of the resistance level right here let me bring it down a little bit so that's gonna be our tech profit level for almost 135 pips hopefully gonna be really good profit uh, we are gonna keep that red uh, on the buy for until uh, sorry until it hit that resistance level on 1.31838 so there goes your signal for the pound USD. Hopefully it's also going to be a very good and profitable signal. Now moving to the AUDUSD. Go back to the 4-hour chart and what we can see right here is a, str a strength in the bullish momentum. We can see that the pair had here a strong support zone. And as we can see right here, the pair has actually made the bull the the bullish pair break out from that previous uh, support trend line so we can see something here if we preview the history uh, this support trend line here that the, the, the one i have just drawn right here uh, it has kept its position always as a as a support trend line it has never become a resistance trend line check it out we can see that right here the pair has reversed and it has become a successfully supported trend line. Then after the bearish breakout candle, the market was actually not able to create a resistance trend line and it just continued the bullish momentum. And again, it kept the position as a support trend line, as we can see. Then again, we can see there is another attempt to break out from the support trend line and the pair immediately has actually made the break out of it. That indicates a strength in the level and most likely the AUD USD is also going to be really good for the buy this week. Therefore, we can start buying the AUD USD on 0.71575. And for the safe zone, it's going to be ranging inside that, of that support zone right here. Exactly like that. And it's going to be ranging for almost almost 38 pips only which is totally fine uh, let me just draw for you the safe zone exactly like that and the take profit level is going to be given actually on the top of that resistance level right let me just show you one second exactly right here uh, so we are looking for almost um, 
almost we can say about 79 or 80 pips profit out of the AUD, AUD USD so the take profit is on 0 0.72344 hopefully it's gonna be also a very good signal and we will make good profit out of it let's right now move to the USD CAD now regarding the USD CAD let's move to the daily candles and as we can see uh, we can see that right here we had a, str a very strong key support level on 1.3310 and from my point of view the look by the way look at that look at the past how strong that previous resistance was and eventually it has all become on that previous strong key support level and therefore i believe the market is definitely gonna reverse right after this uh, bearish breakout candle from that level we can see that we already had one break attempt from that level and the market immediately made the attempt to break out of it or actually it has worked but immediately immediately right after the bullish breakout here the market again fall down indicating a strength in the uh, in the level as a resistance therefore you can expect the market to actually continue the fall right after it hit that previous support level uh, previous support level right here and continue the fall in my opinion until it hit that previous support level right here on 1.31280 that being said and by moving to the smaller time frame let's go back to the four hour chart we can actually start shorting the uh, usd cad only on that level we can start sell on 1.33110 the strong support level and the safe zone uh, is gonna be ranging until that previous resistance right here which is gonna be equi equivalent to 43 increase that a little bit like that so that should be about almost about 40 pips uh, sorry 50 pips or 48 pips should be fine that is the safe zone my friends like that and for the tech profit level actually uh, I was thinking to give it uh, at that previous support level as I said right here however I'm gonna just keep it exactly at the previous uh, support here therefore this is gonna be actually our tech profit level so that being said the tech profit level is gonna be given right here on the on just uh, the support that happened recently on 1.32081 when the market is actually gonna continue the fall and retest that previous support again so we can be looking for almost 100 pips hopefully gonna be in a uh, very good profit now moving to the USD GPY USDGPY has actually faced a very strong key support level right here on 106.659 and we can see that this support level has also been uh, made a second attempt on it now what happened next that these previous support levels has also become a strong resistance right here or not a strong resistance I would say just a resistance attempt which has been eventually again become a previous support so now what happened next keep in mind that this level has not been touched or visited um, for the past I mean uh, the last time this uh, support has been visited by the market it was on 22nd of July and then again 11th of August only the market has visited that level again so it became a resistance but immediately the market has made the breakout the bullish breakout but because of the weakness of the dollar as I'm telling you as I said the dollar this uh, last week has made um, a small attempt of a bullish uh, momentum however it has ma uh, massively failed and the market con will continue to fall down or the USD is gonna continue the falling that being said also we can see that the market Im immediately uh, immediately after creating the support right here immediately has been broken out by a four candles happened continuously what does that mean that means that previous support level here uh, the structure of this trend or the, the support right here is very weak and therefore the, the, the market is going to continue the fall in short terms so just to make it uh, short for you my friends USDGPY is good for the sell on 106.659 should have said that in the beginning right without wasting your time by too much explanation <laughs> I know you guys I know you <laughs> all right so the safe zone is gonna be ranging only right here in the uh, safe zone of that resistance zone right here and the tech profit level is gonna be given exactly 
add that previous support right here so the safe zone is gonna be ranging for almost 40 pips and the take profit is gonna be given uh, on 95 pips take profit is only 105.723 hopefully gonna be guys also a very good trade for us and bring a lot of profits moving to the UCCHF what we can see right here immediately and it's very obvious in my opinion for the USDCHF the strong the strength sorry in that previous uh, support level here it has become a, prev a previous resistance and we can see that the market has made several attempts to break out of that resistance by seeing that we had right here a previous support level on 0 0.90585 we can tell easily that the market is going to continue the fall immediately this week for the USDCHF. That being said, USDCHF is actually good for the sell right away on uh, 0, point, 0 point. You know something? Hold on. I hate giving a sell signal immediately. Mm, just want to be sure everyone, everyone will be safe exactly actually my eyes are looking right here on that previous key support level so therefore i'm just hoping for actually yeah there is already a second attempt on it we can see that we had here attempt of, of that previous support to become a resistance and right here we just had another attempt of the resistance actually telling you honestly speaking my friends honestly speaking i think the uccchf is gonna fall right away however um i believe it's gonna we just need, need to give a safe signal therefore I'm gonna give the safe signal to start short on 0 0.91053 and again I'm telling you I'm giving the signal on that level only for the safety purposes uh, but from my point of view USDCHF is gonna continue the fall immediately at the opening on Monday so the safe zone is gonna be ranging for almost 42 pips that's your safe zone and for the take profit level let's go to the to the daily candles and let's go to the weekly and i just want to go to the left and find the previous support level exactly right here so zero nine one nine okay right here so the previous support is laying exactly right here my eyes look at the mouse it's exactly what i'm looking at that previous support level right here fantastic so the take profit level for this week, my friend, my friends, is gonna be given for almost uh, 90 pips of profit, and the profit is gonna be given on 0 0.90153. I know it's uh, a lot of lines; it's complicated, really. Uh, there is nothing I can do, my friends. Sorry about that. That chart is just so messed up right now. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep the signals like that. That's gonna be your tech profit level, my friends. And here is the sell order. So let's right now move. Uh, sorry, move to the gold. Now the gold is really uh, so tricky. It's, it's, uh, it's really very tricky these weeks or these days uh, because actually. Uh, the gold has went against all the expectations from the professional traders and the analy analyzers uh, and it just wiped all of the profits had it has made in just one day it went really so bad I mean it went below from 2075 all the way to 1861 that was unbelievably so uh, disappointment and it was a major drop for the dollar for the gold therefore it's really un uh, it's really hard to predict right now what will gonna happen to the gold therefore and for the safety of my followers i just want to give a uh, almost a sure shot of the gold that being said my friends in my opinion uh, the gold is gonna make a correction and it's gonna continue in the fall until it hit the support level on 1906 and again it's gonna continue the bounce until it hit that previous support level right here on almost 1940 and there is a chance that it actually might continue the fall until it hit the level of 1866 before we can see uh, if there is anything it's gonna give the gold uh, some boost to continue the rise and go up again to visit the resistance on 2067 or 2000, 2075 and as I just mentioned before I just want the safety for my followers therefore I'm gonna give a scalping signal 
or you can call it a scalping. I mean, it's not a signal that's going to be lasting for the whole week. Uh, it's a signal that might actually give you some good profits out of the gold. And that is exactly what matters for me and for everyone. So uh, uh, the gold is going to be good for the buy on 1,906.0. Okay, 1,907. And we can actually keep the buy order only until it hit that previous resist uh, support right here. Uh, that is not actually a scalping. You cannot call it a scalping because it's going to give you approximately uh, 200, 257 pips of profit. And I think that's really more than enough for the gold. Um, please be extra careful, my friends, with the gold. I'm really feeling... Uh, nervous when I'm giving the signal for the gold because of this uh, somehow I feel like it's moving randomly after this uh, huge drop right here that huge drop here had, has actually made me losing my trust in the gold I mean what the hell was that that was just a major drop for the gold anyway uh, the tech profit level is gonna be given on 1132.74 uh, now for the safe zone it's going to be somehow difficult. However, I'm just going to give it until that previous um, resistance right here. And that's going to be ranging for 83 pips. I mean, that's more than... I mean, that's enough, I think. That's enough. We cannot keep it higher than that. So, there goes your signal for the gold. Exactly like that. And the tech... Pro Did I mention the tech profit level? Yeah, here it is. So... That's the tech profit for the gold. And hopefully by the midweek analysis video, I'm going to make uh, a next signal on the gold if everything went fine as expecting. Now, you might tell me why, are you, why Salah are you not giving the signal to short the gold from here and make the buy order as your tech profit level? Well, I'm glad you asked. Simply because I don't trust the gold anymore. I cannot give the signal to the short right now because there is a high chance that the gold actually might continue the rise all the way immediately. As I said, the US dollar is really weak this uh, week and it's still keeping its weakness. I Nobody actually see any reason for the dollar to continue the rise. Therefore, we cannot expect from the gold to, to, to rise here immediately. We need to wait to see any uh, bearish momentum right here or some correction, uh, something to give the gold actually the boost it needs to continue the rise and go immediately all the way right here. Therefore, I cannot give the signal for the sell right here. It's not safe. We just, as I said, we are just looking for the sure shots or the uh, almost, I don't want to say guaranteed. However, it's more trusted shots right here. If you want to, st to short the gold immediately, it's really up to you. However, I don't take any responsibility at all f uh, on both calls. I'm just telling you that don't short the gold right now. We just wait for it Im Im uh, if you want until it hit that previous support level. Then, in my opinion, that's going to be the safest level to start buying the gold and keep it only until it hit the take profit level. That being said, again, uh, I really hope uh, this is going to be a very profitable week for everyone. And in the end, I would like to, I hope that was informative to you. And I would like to thank you for watching.